Yes, it's a Daihatsu Mira Avanzato TRXS R4. It's a mouthful. Project Mirabelle. So I just jacked up the car, took out one of the rear springs just to do some measurements. So I've got my height inside and outside diameter, thickness of the spring and how much it weighs and I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this information to find a replacement online. This core support here is quite badly rusted. The shock towers are pretty solid but this strut bar is not. So again that will just need a bit of rust treatment and scraping back the rust and painting it all up. I was just doing a bit of exploring and I opened up the airbox to see what condition the filter was in and look what I found! An ITG washable reusable filter. Nice! One other item I did spot in the engine bay is the valve cover itself. I think it's plastic and it looks like somebody's repaired it with JB Weld or something like that. But this car comes with a spare engine and I think that the valve cover in the other one is in better condition so I might swap them over. Well that got out of hand pretty quickly. Just starting to tear it down so I can treat these areas. Not too bad down the subframe. Looking pretty good. And these are the other bits that need some attention. I'm going to be painting these areas here black as well as the, the crossbars. So I also know I'm going to be painting this brace black as well so I might as well take that off now and do it all together. This also gives me a chance to have a better look at the top of the strut towers and it all seems pretty solid just some minor surface rust so I've just taped off the area that I'm going to be working on obviously this is the worst of it here but there are little small bubbles here and some just underneath the paint I'm not going to be able to match this gradient so I'll probably just do it silver or black I don't know for the moment so I'm going to wire wheel this down treat it fill it and then paint it as always with rust, it never looks too bad until you start digging. You can see some holes here. I'm not going to try and get a perfect job on this. Just treat it, stop the rust, fill it, paint it. Okay, I have treated all of the rust and now it's time to fill it. I've now put on a layer of filler, so I'll wait for that to dry overnight before I sand and paint. Well, I've sanded back the filler now and taped it all off, cleaned it down and it's ready for paint. If you're squeamish, you might want to look away now because this is a quick and dirty job just to stop the rust and then I'll have to decide what to do with this gradient and all that later on. So I'm literally painting this on with a brush. I've warned you. <laughs> Here it is all painted up. Doesn't look fantastic but at least it's going to keep the rust out. I've also painted down here and some of the minor touch up areas like this. All of these black parts are now dry and can be reinstalled back in.
all back together. And looking a bit cleaner. Some small updates here at the rear. I was able to get this parcel shelf back in by using one of these hose joiners, basically cutting one and a half, putting a half in each side. It's all good. This wheel here, it's missing the, the tie down. So I just cobbled together a few bits of metal I had lying around. And I should be able to screw that down in. The jack, I was actually able to get back in here, even though it's not the right one. Now it's missing the thing that you would spin around the, uh, the bar, so I'll just leave this, it fits in there fine. So I'll just leave it here in the boot. Something I noticed when I was driving home was that there was quite a rattle from, kind of a squeaking noise coming from the tailgate. And I just noticed that there is four rubber stops here, but one is missing. This obviously needs a bit of rust treatment first. But where could I find one of them? It's gonna be hard to find a part number like that. Unless... Spare parts. And just what I need. So I've taken the door card off so that I could get to the speakers and I can see why this one is not working at all. The center cone is completely seized and rusted. The back and the magnet is rusted as well. So that is for the bin. What was strange was that they had put a load of washers to space it out from the door um, I guess because it was too deep and it would hit the glass here so I measured from the back of this to the glass and it's extremely shallow uh, I can't find any aftermarket ones that would actually fit in here so I guess the other option is that you could put some sort of a spacer ring to bring it out um, and properly seal it rather than using uh, you know washers or whatever but at the end of the day the speaker is going to be tiny not sealed very well and the sound is going to be crap no matter what the head unit is also a bit of an unknown uh, i don't know how old it is it certainly doesn't have bluetooth so it can't be that new so i started to think about alternative options because if i end up getting a new head unit and new speakers sound still probably won't be that great so maybe i'm better off just taking the speakers out leaving them out saving the weight take the head unit out put a blanket plate on here and here is my solution a wireless bluetooth stereo in the glove box you're never going to get great sound in this car anyway just with all the wind noise and how light the car is and this is a practical and easy solution for me i only ever use bluetooth for streaming spotify or whatever so screw the door speakers i'll take them out i'll take the head unit out and use this instead easy peasy and that's it for this episode next up i will be giving it a service changing the intercooler possibly looking at the valve cover and ordering springs and fun stuff like that. Sloan! So